Now the other thing I would recommend you guys to do that you can do on really any iPhone, but on iOS 14 it means a lot more just because it's newer, is background app refresh. Now what this is basically, just like how widgets, a lot of apps, you know, sometimes refresh in the background and whether you like it or not, they can suck up your data, your mobile data sometimes, but most of the time they can suck up a lot of battery life, whether you realize it or not. Now in order to get here, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings, you wanna scroll down into general, which is right not there. You wanna scroll up to general right there. You want to scroll down into background app refresh, which is right under iPhone storage, so right here. So you wanna go ahead and click there now right here you'll see a bunch of apps now you want to keep background app refresh on for the most part unless you don't want to get any notifications anymore and right now i'll go i'll go ahead and give you an example okay so aqua parkio i don't play that game at all i don't want this game to be using any background resources when i'm not using that specific game so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn that off and you can go through all your apps that you have and just basically do the same thing now i'll give you an example of an app not to turn off now in this case if this was my personal phone i would not turn off snapchat because i want to get those snapchat notifications if some if someone snapchats me or whatever i want to be notified of it so in this case, you want to enable and keep Snapchat on, but apps like, you know, like, like Netflix, I don't want to get any notifications from it. I really don't care about it. They're not sending me any notifications. And GBA for iOS, Fruit Ninja, apps like that, you want to go through and disable every single one. And just imagine like the disabling each one is saving like a little bit of battery life. Not like it's going to equal out to like three times the battery life, but just imagine just kind of have that thought process going through. Now, something like Instagram, I would also want to keep that on because I care about those notifications. I want to get notifications when people DM me or something. So I'm going to keep that on. But again, Facebook, I would keep on if I were you and different things, but like some other ones like the, you know, that trigger, I don't really care. So go through all these, figure out which ones you like and don't like and kind of go from there.